Hello and welcome to this very quick video. This is a quick video about showing how you can now install things like smart port telemetry, actually lots of other kinds of telemetry as well, directly into a Pixhook flight controller. This just happens to be the Pixhook 5X, but it's for things like the Pixhook Cube and everything else. Things like any F4 or F7 or H7 based flight controllers this works with. You'll notice there is no inverter connecting the receiver to the flight controller it's all done in software now now let me just turn off the beeping this is the yapu telemetry script that's running on my radio i'll put a link down below to show you how you install that but as i move the flight controller you can see the artificial horizon moving on the radio and you get all kinds of information as well so let me just turn off uh, the noise because this is going to continue to beep an error because we don't have things like a GPS in. So how do you set this up? Let's go on the computer and I'll show you. It's actually super easy. So here in Arduino Pilot, this is how we're going to set everything up. And we need to be in configuration and we need to be in full parameter list. Now there are three telemetry ports on this particular flight controller yours may have different ones there are a couple of things that we need to know how the telemetry ports are mapped inside rd pilot and that's in the documentation and also what settings we need to change in order for this to work without any kind of inverter so let's have a go at that so let's just say okay if we go on to the ardupilot.org website, there's a whole section on FR Sky telemetry. However, there's also loads of other information in here about how to set this up for things like CRSF and others as well. Now, in this piece, this is how we used to do it uh, with this little um, doohickey here, and I've made them in the past in the videos as well. So if we zoom down here, we can see that it says if you have an F7 or H7 autopilot, which is kind of what we're talking about here, then you don't need to use an external inverter. You must turn on the inverters for the serial port. So with F4, uh, F4 based autopilots cannot use a receive pin with inverted S port. We don't have to worry about that because this flight controller is a uh, F7 based one. We need to set two things for this to work. The first, uh, because we are going to use it with an F7 H7 based autopilot, we need to set the serial protocol for 10 and the serial options for 7. That's going to invert the to transmit, receive, and set half duplex as well. Now, which serial ports in Ardu Pilot is going to map to which cable we have this stuff plugged into? Well, that is not too tricky either because again in the audio pilot documentation here's all the features of the pixhook 5x tells you that it's an f7 based flight controller so we can do that on here and then we have things like how the uarts are mapped so telemetry one is where we're plugged in and that corresponds to serial one so now we know it's serial one, and we now also know the two settings that we need to change. Life gets really easy. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into Mission Planner. In the full parameter tree, we're going to look at serial one, because we know that's the one we want. Here we go. So we have the serial board is 57. That's what it needs to be for smart port. Serial options are seven. So if we click on this, watch, there's some weirdness happens. When I click on here, rather than just being typed the number in, it actually gives you the options that you want on the port. Quite a few things in RD Pilot are like this, but don't freak out because if you actually look at what it says here, it says that we need inverted transmit, receive, and half duplex. And that's what I've got, inverted receive, inverted tra uh, transmit, and half duplex selected. Because we've got those, when we close that down, it just seven. Things are set on a bit mass. It's basically what's going on. Then we set the serial protocol to 10, which is what it had to be in the documentation. So we've got serial protocol is 10, serial options are seven, which is what it needs to be. We can then write those parameters to the flight controller. 
Now with the cable connected as I'm showing here, so the two pins you're interested in are going to be the two pins here, which are going to be the ground, and I'm using the transmit pin, but um, either will work fine. The, the transmit pin is going to the S port connection and the ground pin is going to the ground on the receiver as well. And those two send all the information across without that extra cable. The only other trick you need to remember about this, whenever you change anything to do with a serial port, you need to reboot the flight controller. Power it down, count to 10, power it back up, and you should see it all working. It's not one of those things that you can change and it automatically updates dynamically, so you can get something like the Yapu telemetry script working. So hopefully that's interesting for those of you that wanted me to talk about this. Uh, you now with and have been actually for quite a while been able to set up telemetry directly to the flight controller without lots of little extra boards which are quite a pain to do thank you for spending your time today watching that video you can find me in all the usual places on social media and if you're trying to learn about a subject then check out the playlist all of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff